Hello from QNature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I would like to do a chronograph test and a little mini review with this rifle here. This is the Well uh, L96. It's a very uh, solidly built and very affordable sniper rifle. And it's also in olive uh, color, so it's very nice and very grassy. The whole thing here, the stock, it's plastic and the upper part inside is all metal. Everything is very well built and snugly fit and uh, actually it's one of the most uh, famous and uh, commonly used sniper rifle in the airsoft society because uh, first the price, okay, it's not very expensive compared to higher end uh, sniper rifle and also it's very customizable. Everything is very upgradable and it features a dropout magazine like that, full size looking, very cool comes with a scope and also the bolt here is very cool when you pull it it cocks the spring and then push it back it feels so real in hand and also the thumb uh, the thumb hole right here you can put your thumb through very cool and besides that you can uh, watch other review on it and uh, just I'll skip the boring part now let me take off my little barrel cover okay so today's video I will show you the consistency and the power of this rifle uh, using my chronograph. So here you see I got my crony here, okay, my chronograph, uh, set up with the red LED light. So it's going to be very accurate. And also um, today we'll be testing using aluminum BBs. They're 0 0.3 grams each. Uh, usually the BBs are 0 0.2, 0 0.25 gram each. And I have upgraded this stock gun with uh, the uh, regular spring kit. So you can buy those kit um, and it's quite cheap actually. Just a little bit of money and you can upgrade the power. That's like really awesome. And it's so easy to upgrade. Um, took me like, what, two minutes <laughs> to install that. Okay. And of course here you'll say, why don't you use a speed loader? But I didn't have a speed loader around, okay? So, load it one by one. And my speed loader are occupied because they are loaded with other weight BBs. So right now I'm just using this for aluminum BBs. And that's why I'm not using speed loader. Okay. And then plug it in. And one thing to note that with the airsoft style of chronograph, uh, the readings is not as accurate. Um, I tested it and actually compared between this and the airsoft, and uh, the airsoft one is a bit off. So, yeah. Okay, I think I topped it up. So. Okay, I just go with these, okay? So I got a mag of uh, aluminum BBs. Now let's take a look. I'll cock the gun and so on once. Okay. Right now you can see the mag is in and cock the gun like this. Pull all the way back and push it like that. Very cool, very realistic. Now let's uh, turn on the crony and take a close look at the numbers. Ta da numbers. Okay, come on. Numbers. Okay guys, so you can see the numbers right now. I'll stand a bit uh back just so that it can chrono the gun properly. Let's touch it out. Okay, ready? Fire. Wow. <laughs> Went to 505. Not always the case. 502. Okay guys, so just a little um, <laughs> change here. We'll be using the 2.43 uh, gram uh, sniper BBs from Madball. Okay, so sniper rifle, sniper BBs, makes sense. Okay, so 
Load the, uh, let's load it up. Okay, everyone, now we're at the chronograph and let's test the gun out with a sniper round. Four forty-seven. Oh, that's good. Four uh, thirty-five. Third shot. Four forty-three point five. Quite good. Very consistent. Four thirty-six. Four thirty. Four thirty uh, three point four. Four thirty nine point six. So four thirty nine point seven. Very nice, 437. Four forty two. Okay. Right down. So in this 10 shot string, we got a low 430.3 and a high of 447.3. And that's pretty uh, decent. So average. 438.5 that's pretty good now let's zoom out uh, look at me Ooh. okay guys so uh, you see the chronograph result for the Wells L96 and it's, it's very uh, very very consistent with the spring upgrade and um, just a note here um, the this Aluminum BB is 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.3 gram, and a normal 4.5 mm steel BB is real 0 0.35 grams. So um, it's a bit lighter than those BB. So if your gun shoots about um, say 500 FPS for Canadian, it's still uh, kind of within the legal limit. But if it's like over too much, it's not okay. So right now the gun is performing just right with the proper BBs. The uh, sniper round is performing below the uh, 500 FPS mark, so it's legal uh, for for a Canadian. So you don't need a license for it. And um, so imagine that, like uh, with a with a 0 0.43 gram uh, sniper round, it's just about say. Uh, let me measure right now, okay. How, how many grains? <laughs> so I got a digital scale here. Okay, let me measure that. Okay, so with a normal sniper round BB, this is 6.5 grains. Okay, 6.5 grain is not a lot. That is just like a hyper velocity pellet in 0.177 caliber. And so if the gun shoots at that range, meaning that it's mostly around the power of a normal non-licensed, like a normal air rifle that doesn't need license for Canadian. And uh, so that's about that kind of power. And uh, it's not really, really that powerful, but it, of course it still hurt. And um, so basically you can see that even though with uh, aluminum BBs it jumped over the 500 mark, it doesn't mean anything because there's a little thing with the law that say it needs to be over 500 FPS and 4.2 foot pound, and it doesn't go over that. So pretty good. With the sniper round, the uh, well L96 performed very well. So that's right. Let's bring out the gun again. Okay. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye bye.